Man, I can't believe it's been only 24 hours since I posted my first daily vlog and I'm already at 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, everyone. You've been absolutely amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. I'm actually at 36 subscribers. But that's okay because this vlog is all about patience and enjoying being where you're at. Nash to walk your kids to school day. Does my hair look okay? I just rolled out of bed like this. Yeah, it looks good. You crazy sexy? Yeah, no, not really. Is it supposed to be crazy sexy? Yes. It's National Walk Your Kids to School Day. Which is every day. Which for is us. every day, so. But we got a sticker today for it. Yeah, right there. No. Oh. B-roll. Who knew how much exercise it would be? This is ridiculous. Is it? Love it. It's day two. I remember the day I went ice skating and a chick sat skated the entire two hours with her phone in front of her like this as she's skating, and I was so annoyed. And here we are. And here we are. Exact same situation, except it's not two hours. It's all day. It's like a year. <laughs> At least. All right, so today was National Walk Your Kids to School Day, and it was an absolute joy to actually walk my kids to school. I, I do it normally, but today was just you know, a little bit extra special because I started the vlog, I brought the camera along, I really wanted to like capture the moment of, you know, getting to school with my kids and like, you know, ushering them off into the educational system and everything. And along the way they were talking about, you know, Halloween and the things that are coming up and Christmas and, and you know, how next year they want to be in uh, this particular class and that stuff. So it's they they weren't really enjoying where they're at, right? As we're little, we sort of look at the world as stepping stones into the next place, right? When you're in fifth grade, you want to be in sixth grade. When you're in sixth grade, you want to be in high school. And in high school, you want to drive. And then when you want to drive, you want to get a car and, and go to college. And, you know, it's all these stepping stones. And we continually do it here with vlogging and with content creation. It's like we obsess about these numbers and about how to get from 100 subscribers to 1,000 subscribers, rather than enjoy the subscribers that you actually have. I mean, I think the biggest thing that I learned today was about patience. I mean, kids don't have patience, but neither do we, neither do adults. But we should really stop and enjoy those moments right now where we, we can experience what it's like to not be there. I think that's what it really is, is Everybody on YouTube wishes they had a million subscribers, 100,000 subscribers even. But you don't enjoy the time right now where you don't have that many subscribers. You don't have the responsibility. You don't have people yelling at you for doing the wrong content, even though you think it's the right content. I mean, I I'm sure it's a completely different world and it's, it's probably a welcomed world to some people, but again, enjoy where you're at right now. So my daughter's in hockey, and she absolutely loves playing. She has the patience and the drive to just keep practicing. She's not at any high level yet, but she's enjoying the process. She goes out into the front yard and, and into the driveway and practices skating all the time, and practices puck handling, and, and really gets into the role of just who she is and where she's at, and I really appreciate that mindset, I mean, it's a determination, but it's it's a determination without the assumption of where she's going to go. She gets into her entire uniform just to practice and skate around the neighborhood. She has that kind of determination and that kind of patience that we should all have. And it's taught me a big thing to sort of slow down and enjoy right now. I'm in vlog two, and 
And so far yesterday, I enjoyed doing it. And today I enjoyed taking the camera around and shooting again. So it's that process of, I don't have to worry right now about negative comments and losing thousands of subscribers just because of one video post or something I said that was just a little off. I don't have to worry about any of that right now. And, and I may never have to worry about that. But the idea is that I'm enjoying the moment right now when I have 36 subscribers. And that's great because I almost know every single one of those subscribers. And I've talked to every single one of those subscribers. And that's the enjoyable part. People who have millions of subscribers can't do that. They can generally talk to their audience and maybe hit a couple people, but there's no time to connect with everybody. It's just about getting a content out there and hoping that it resonates with a large audience. Right now, I'm just hoping that it, my content resonates with at least a couple people that you know, I can talk to on a regular basis and ask them questions. Hey, should I have done this? Should I have done that? You know, really get into that idea of connecting with people before I can't connect with people. I mean, sure, I wish I had a million subscribers, but I also wish I don't. Patience is key because don't always look at the next step next step's not the answer right now is the answer if you like anything that I've said or you know seen some of my other videos and like what I'm doing please hit that subscribe button comment below or you know even give me a like it doesn't any of those three will, will make me happy so uh, let's connect I'm Corey weekly and I'll see you next week next tomorrow what am I talking about I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>